right, in this demonstration, we've set up a scenario where I have just been teaching to remote students in a classroom full of students here. And what we're going to do is we're going to break off into small groups. Okay guys, so if there's no questions about what we just talked about, we're going to go ahead and we're going to break up into our small groups and work on our weather websites. Okay, so I want everybody to take a look here at our group setup. So what we're going to do, remember the last time we got into groups, you're going to go ahead and leave this uh, Google Meet, my remote students, you'll leave. And then you're going to go back into Google Meet and you will use the code that's assigned to your group. So let's see, in group one, I'm going to have Lindy and Nicole. So Lindy and Nicole, you're going to make sure to use uh, sixth, Sheridan one, and Josephine and Kyle, why don't you go ahead and get yourselves in a spot. And Josephine, you're going to be the one to connect you and Kyle in with Lindy and Nicole. Marco and Hannah, why don't you guys go ahead and get yourself situated. And Hannah, you're going to connect everybody. Uh, Kate and Jenna, uh, make sure that you go to meet.google.com and you're going to use 6th Sheridan 2. Uh, Laura and Omar, go ahead and get yourselves in a spot. And uh, actually, uh, Omar, why don't you go ahead and you connect um, you and Laura in so that you can meet up with Sloan and then Sloan make sure you go to and use six Sheridan three here remote students just give me one second I'll uh, get your meet started so you can join your your classmates in your meeting okay group one you should be all set group two you're all set Group three, you're all set. So you guys can leave this main room and you can go ahead and join your group, your teammates um, in your virtual room. So in order to make the small group setup work like we did in this demonstration, there's a couple of things that we set up ahead of time. So um, the first thing was we had a, a tool like this to organize the groups and let the groups know what their pre-assigned group code was going to be. The next tool that I used was the tab resize tool. You saw me use the tab resize tool to separate out four windows so that I could open up all those groups and be able to see everything like we see here. So I have my group um, one, two, three. These are representative of my students in the class. And then I have my remote students and um, I can see everybody. And if I, if I want to interact with, let's say group three, what I would do is go over to Laura and Omar's where they're located in class. And then I can talk with them and at the same time be uh, interacting and working with my remote student that's in that group. And the same goes for the rest of the groups. In order to interact with my remote students that are in the group, I'm just going to go to where the students are in the classroom and use the one Chromebook that's in the classroom connected into that group. So in order to make things go as smooth as possible in class, I need to set a few things up ahead of time. The first thing that I set up was I did this group setup chart so the students can see the groups that they're in. They can also reference the Google Meet nickname that they'll use to join the group. You can see in this group, they're all green. Well, the color-coded green means that those are classroom students. I actually don't need a Google Meet for this group. These groups though, I do need meets. And another thing that they get to see in this is that there's an asterisk next to the name of the student that will be using the Chromebook to join their in-class students. We don't want any more Chromebooks connected into Google Meets than necessary so that we can preserve bandwidth and help avoid any audio or other technical issues. So this group chart is set up. Next thing I do is I'm going to open up three different tabs for the three Google Meets that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join or start. 
I'm going to turn off my camera. I'm going to turn off my microphone. I'm not going to hit join yet. Remember, I'm doing this ahead of time so that things go quick in class when I'm ready for the groups to begin. And turn off the camera and the microphone. Okay, so now when I get to the point in class where I'm ready to have my groups begin, what I'll do is I'll go into group one, I'll hit join now. Now the students in group one are able to join. I'll do the same thing with group two. Now the students in that group can join. Because remember, when you nickname a meet, students can't join that meet nickname until the teacher has started it. So group three is now ready. I'm going to go back to my first tab here, and now I'm going to use the tab resize button. The tab resize button helps you to quickly lay out your desktop screen so that you can see multiple Google Meet tabs all at the same time. I'm going to use the two by two. Now you can see I have group one, two, and three. And as the students are in there, I'll see the students as they're working together.